In this video, we are going to talk about operational amplifier. This operational amplifier is built from the concept of negative feedback amplifier, which is developed by a great scientist, Robert uh, Stephen Black in 1927 in order to reduce the noise induced in the amplifier. If we take an amplifier, we give an input signal and the output signal is your V out and this output signal is your A times of your V in where A is the amplifier of your V where A is the gain of your amplifier if this gain is constant then you get a very nice amplified output at the output of your amplifier but in practical this gain of uh, this gain varies with respect to the temperature okay so the actual gain will be looks like this it has some noise in it this variation in the gain is because of the variation in the temperature because of that this gain introduces a noise in the output signal instead of getting a nice amplified output we get a noisy output which is something like this this is your V out this noise is because of the noise in the gain A if this noisy output is fed into the speaker you get a mm, or bus sound in the speaker which is not desirable so in order to develop a amplifier without any noise without adding any noise in the amplifier it is the only way is making this gain constant but this is not possible right any uh, all the transistor is subjected to variation in the temperature because of that your gain is going to vary uh, so there is no possible way to develop a transistor with a constant gain so they develop a con concept called negative feedback amplifier so what the negative feedback amplifier is uh, before understanding the negative feedback amplifier uh, in this particular case you can see this the output voltage it is it's completely a open loop because we give an input which is multiplied with and gain a and we get the output the output is completely depend upon the gain A. If the gain is constant, then we get a very nice amplified output. If this gain is distorted like this, actually in practical the gain is distorted. We cannot get a constant gain because the temperature is going to vary. Obviously, we are going to get some noise in the gain. So because of this, your output signal will have some noise. Here, in order to eliminate that, what the concept is developed is a fraction of your output signal is taken back a fraction of your output signal is taken back and that fraction is made to follow the input signal okay the negative feedback amplifier works something like this The fraction of the output is taken as an input the fraction of the output is taken as an input okay and the difference in this the difference in the voltage VD is amplified with a very large gain A okay by increasing the gain of the, your amplifier higher and higher we can reduce the difference in the voltage we can reduce the difference in the voltage to a lower value that is if this gain of the amplifier is closer to infinity then we can reduce the VD that is closer to zero in when this VD is closer to zero if this V2 this potential V2 is closer to your V in right so your VD is equal to V1 minus V2 if this V2 is closer to V1 then only you get the difference closer to zero if this V2 is closer to V in, that means the fraction of your output is following the input signal. So if this V2 is closer to V in, then if the fraction is, so for example, if the fraction is 1, that means you are taking the output signal and directly fading back to the input. In that case, if this V2 is closer to V in, then only you get a different 0. If this V2 is equal to V in that is closer to V in that means your output is also V in right so that means your output is following the input in case if the fraction is 1 by 10 that means 1 by 10th of your output signal if you are fading back to an input then 
when this vd will be zero if this vd is closer to v in right so if this is v in then your output signal will be 10 times larger than your input signal your output signal will be 10 times larger than your input signal if this is 10 times larger than input signal then only the fraction that is 1 by 10th of your v naught will be equivalent to your v in right so with uh, having an amplifier with the infinitely larger gain and it amplifies the difference in the voltage vd we can achieve to follow we can achieve to follow the fraction of your output signal to the input signal so this is how your feedback amplifier works so for an any op amp for any op amp we have an two input terminals one is your non inverting terminal another one is inverting terminal one is your non inverting terminal another one is inverting terminal which is the name which uh, uh, which which tells about the terminals since it is plus it is named as non inverting and since it is minus it is named as inverting terminal and we have an output terminal v out where you take the output from your op amp and for any ic's we have a power supply so this op amp has plus vcc and minus vcc so this op amp is developed this op amp is developed from the concept of negative feedback amplifier which is developed by um, robert stephen black in 1927 the first op amp was developed in 1960 uh, from the concept of a negative feedback amplifier we will try to build a non inverting amplifier with the op amp uh, that is we give an input signal and we get an output signal with a gain of a so first we will take an operational amplifier which has two terminals one is non inverting and inverting terminal we give an input signal to the non inverting terminal because it's a non inverting amplifier that means the output signal will be in phase with your input signal that is for example if your output signal is like this your amplified signal will also be in phase with your output if this is called non inverting terminal if it is a uh, non inverting amplifier if it is a non -in uh, inverting amplifier then your input signal will be amplified with 180 degree phase shift so first we are going to do non inverting amplifier for that we need to give an input to the non inverting amplifier non inverting terminal and if you want to build a amplifier with a gain of 2 if you want to build a amplifier with a gain of 2 then we have to take half of the output voltage and we have to fed back to the inverting terminal how to take half of this output voltage v not half of the uh, half, half of the v not we can use a simple potential divider so you take a two resistor okay let this is v r2 and then this is R1 and both are let's say 10 kilo ohms so now the voltage V0 will be equally divided here it is connected to ground this V0 will be equally divided here you will get V0 by 2 here you get V0 by 2 so now you can take the voltage across R1 that you can fed back to the non uh, to the inverting terminal that means the voltage across this will be the voltage across your resistor R1 since both are equal then V0 is divided into two halves both uh, V0 by 2 V0 by 2 in each resistor so the voltage across the R1 is supplied to your inverting terminal so by doing this you can get a you can build an amplifier with a gain of 2 so the amplifier gain A is computed here as 1 plus R2 by R1 so if I want to build an amplifier with a gain of 4 a equal to 4 then what I have to do I have to um, fed 1 by 4th of your V0 value to the inverting terminal so how to fed 1 by 4th of your um, uh, 1 by 4th of your output to the non inverting uh, to the inverting terminal what kind of values I can choose here if you have to think so the values I can choose here is if I want to take 1 by 4th then this should be uh, let's say if R2 is 7.5 kilo ohms and if R1 is 2.5 kilo ohms then 1 by 4th of your V0 will be across your R1 so I can 
with that particular value to your inverting terminal to get a gain of 4 ok so now for this is uh, one way of approach uh, so it will give a more understanding about working of your op amp the easy method to compute the gain is to just apply to this formula first you need to know how this formula is developed so that's what we are going to see now so how this formula is uh, derived from this particular op amp for this op amp we know this output voltage v not equal to the difference of this voltage into the gain a right so the difference of this voltage is v in minus mm, let's say this is inverting terminal right i am just denoting it as v2 okay so it's v2 into the gain v so what is v2 is v not equal to v in minus if this uh, you have to compute like this for this the voltage across r1 is r1 divided by r1 plus r2 into your v0 it's a simple voltage divider rule okay so i am applying a voltage divider rule to in order to compute the uh, voltage across this resistance r1 if you doesn't know it it's very simple you have a two resistor we have an output voltage v0 and it is grounded if I want to compute the voltage across this, let's say this is your R2, R1. The voltage across this is, first you need to find the current through this particular branch. Uh, so it is V0 divided by R1 plus R2 is the current through this particular series resistance. And the, what are the current flows through? It flows through this resistor because both are connected in series. And if you want to compute, this is the current in this particular loop. And if you want to com compute the voltage across this, multiply uh, the voltage across R1 is nothing but this current V0 the current through this uh, current through this resistor R1 into the resistance value will give you the voltage across this resistor that is what this uh, value is ok so we we, we you now we, uh, we replace this V2 to the exact voltage that we get at this terminal and if you are by solving this um, V0 plus V0 times of R1 by R1 plus R2 times of K equal to V times of V right now if you want to gain if you want to find the gain gain is nothing but output by input right so to find this first i will take this v not common it is 1 plus r1 times of a divided by r1 plus r2 which is equal to v a right so v not by v which is equal to A times divided by 1 plus A times of R1 divided by R1 plus R2 is it right? now divide 1 by A on both the sides so you would get A divided by 1 by A and then here you get 1 by a times of 1 plus uh, 1 by a, a cancels so you get r1 divided by r1 plus r2 isn't it so now if you equate it you will get 1 divided by 1 by a plus r divided by r1 plus r2 is it visible? Okay. Mm. Since we know this, we know this, uh, the gain of the amplifier is very large. So here you can take this 1 by A is approximately equal to 0. Since the gain of your amplifier is 
very large. 1 by a is approximately equal to 0. So if, if you equate it, then you will get 1 R1 plus. If you neglect this 1 by a, since it is closer to 0, you get R1 plus R2 divided by R1, which is equal to which is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 is the gain E. Now we will see inverting amplifier. So we take an op amp, your inverting ampli uh, amplifier looks like this. So your non-inverting terminal is grounded and the V in is applied to the inverting terminal and the feedback resistor is connected. This is your inverting amplifier. Now we will try to find the gain of this inverting amplifier. So we know the output voltage V0. The output voltage V0 is equal to let's say this terminal is V1 and V2 so it is V1 plus sorry V1 minus V2 into gain E so here V1 is connected to the ground so it is 0 minus V2 V2 is V1 plus the V1 minus the voltage drop across this resistor R1 right so it is V input voltage minus voltage drop across R1 and then multiply it with the amplifier gain E so which is equal to minus V in plus uh, what is your uh, uh, VR1 so VR1 is V in minus V out divided by R1 plus R2 is the current through this loop and which is multiplied with R1 gives the voltage across your R1 so Hold multiplied with gain E. So now it is minus V in times of gain E into R1 plus R2. I'm just cross multiplying it plus V in times of R1 into E minus V naught times of R1 into A whole divided by R1 plus R2 right so for the solving this V0 times of R1 plus R2 equal to minus V in times of A R1 minus V in times of A R2 plus V in times of R1 into A minus V0 into R1 into A. So here this and this get cancelled. So taking that V0 the side you get V0 into R1 plus R2 plus A times of R1 which is equal to minus V in A times of R2 so your uh, gain is output voltage by input voltage right so output by input is the gain V0 by V in is equal to minus A times of R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus A times of R1. So now substitute uh, multiply 1 by A on both numerator and denominator. So here you get R2 divided by R1 plus R2 divided by A 
plus R1. So since this uh, gain value or uh, gain of the op-amp value is very high, so this terminal you can uh, you can neglect it is approximately equal to zero. You get an gain of the entire circuit, which is V0 by V1, which is gain of your inverting amplifier is minus R2 by R1.